Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you the latest MacBook Pro Retina 13 running Dolphin games. For your information, Dolphin is the best Wii and GameCube emulator for Mac and PC so far. So let's get started with Super Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna use my keyboard to play since I don't have a USB controller. There we go. So here the resolution is set to native. Native. But you can set it to two times native without any noticeable lag. Now let's try The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. There is a little issue with this game why you have to get the to set the resolution on native because if you set it on something higher it will cause the game to pixelate. So I'm going to show you Yeah, as you can see around here, it pixelates a lot. And if you set it to native, then that's fine. Other than that, as you can see, the game runs pretty smoothly. Yeah, one hand, that's pretty difficult. Yeah, that's it. So that's for The Legend of Zelda's Wind Waker. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 also runs pretty nicely. And for Wii games, I'm gonna use my Wiimote as well as my Nunchuck. So I'm gonna connect it. Okay, there we go, it's connected. Connecting it is pretty easy. So, Mario Galaxy 2.
There are a few graphical glitches in this game, but it's still playable. I highly recommend to cut the resolution on one, though. As you can see, a few graphical glitches. So it runs pretty slowly, but it's still playable. Now Super Smash Bros Brawl, this one has no problems, So as you can see, it turns out full speed. Now, new Super Mario Bros. Wii. This one is also pretty easy to run.
Runs perfectly. And let's see, last one Mario Kart 3. So, there is also a problem in this game uh, where you have to play on time trial mode to make the game run at full speed. And if you play in like Grand Prix, it's gonna lag a lot because there are NPCs. So that's it.